Are you happy with who you've become in 2020? What's up guys, this is David and it is Two Minute Tuesday. Two minute Tuesday. Oh! And let's get this started right now. Guys, have you ever seen The Lion King? If you haven't, time out. Why haven't you seen The Lion King yet? And seriously, what are you waiting for? Immediately after this video, do me a favor and go and watch The Lion King. It is probably one of the greatest Disney movies over Aladdin, over Frozen. I've said it over every other Disney movie. This is one of the greatest Disney movies of all time. So right after this two minute Tuesday, go and watch it. Unpause. Okay, one of my favorite scenes from The Lion King is when a grown Simba meets a random baboon in the field. And the baboon, whose name is Rafiki, asks him, Who are you? To which Simba replies, I thought I knew. Now I'm not so sure. And 2020 has done this for a lot of us. 2020 has exposed feelings of fear, doubt, anger, worry, uncertainty. When we look at the mirror, how we've taken on this year or how we've reacted to it, when we honestly look in the mirror, uh, we may not even recognize who we have become this year. Um, I know for myself, I've looked and said, man, I do not like who I've become in 2020. I think in a weird way, 2020 has brought up the worst in a lot of us. But Rafiki sees hope and tells Simba that he sees Simba's father, Mufasa, in Simba. Yet Simba can't see the father in him. When Simba looks in the reflection, he sees his circumstances all around him. He sees what has happened to him in life and what wrong has been done to him. He sees himself through the lens of his circumstance. Yet Rafiki tells him, Look how. And Simba begins to see from what I would call a heavenly perspective. You see, he lives in you. The writer in Hebrews uh, says in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, and I'm reading from the Passion Translation, we must let go of every wound that has pierced us and the sin that we easily fall into. Then we'll be able to run life's marathon race with passion and determination, for the path has already been marked out for us. If you're looking in the mirror and you say to yourself, I don't like what I've become, I want to encourage you, don't focus on what's going on around you. Don't focus on your circumstance. Don't even focus on the past things that have happened to you. Instead, as the writer of Hebrews says, set your eyes on Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter three, Verse 18 says it like this. I'm going to read from the Amplified Translation. And we all with unveiled faces continually seeing as in a mirror the glory of the Lord are progressively being transformed into his image from one degree of glory to even more glory, which comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. And what Paul is saying in this verse is the more you behold him, the more you're becoming like him. Set your eyes on Jesus because truth be told, I can see the Father in you. Guys, this was Two Minute Tuesday. I hope it blessed you. I hope it encouraged you. If it did, do me a favor. Uh, leave a comment and let me know and uh, like and share this video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. That would be huge. Again, this is Two Minute Tuesday. Side note, there's not going to be a 10 Minute Thursday this week, um, but hopefully there will be one, uh, another one uh, next week. So guys, until next time, talk to you later. God bless you. Chihuahua. Chihuahua. Chihuahua.